Right. After this introduction, I would like to go to our first example. It's a kind of teaser. It's a hypothetical example. And uh, this uh, uh, should start uh, this session on good footings. In this example, uh, we assume two time periods or two dates, T0, which is uh, the present time, and T1, a future date. There are two parties, party A and party B. Party B, as of now, at T0, owns an asset. In this example, we are using a car. So party A approaches party B and comes up with an offer, asking the party B. So party A asks party B, if you pay me a sum of money, say certain amount of dollars now, in exchange of this money, I would be giving you an amount of money in future which would be equal to the value or the amount of depreciation in your asset. And if the two parties agree on this one, on the future date, party A actually gives V0 minus V1, which is the amount of depreciation in the asset, i.e. the car. So at T0, Party B pays certain amount of dollars to party B so that on a future date, T1, party A pays V0 minus V1 to party B. So I, I hope that this example uh, is clear. If this example is clear, let me ask you a question. Is this arrangement permissible under Islamic law of contract? 